Grunge music and the band Nirvana will be forever tied to this area. The band was only together for six years, ending in 1994 with the death of lead singer Kurt Cobain. Internationally known photographer and Seattle native Charles Peterson was with Nirvana for many of the frenzied and quiet moments. He's here to talk about his new book and an exhibit based around his photos. Many not even published till now. Thanks for being with us. Yeah, thank you for having me. You know, it is crazy to think that Nirvana was only together for six years when they're still so relevant today. Do you feel that? Oh yeah, I think they're they're more than relevant. Uh, young young kids love them. Yeah. My 15 year old son, like he threw them on at New Year's Eve party. You know. Wow. Yeah, and they all went crazy. So. Yeah, I think he, you know, Kurt and the band, they, they still speak to the angst of youth, yeah. and I think they always will. Yeah, they're not tied to that particular time and period yeah. with their music. I think your story is so cool. So you're, you're like in your 20s, right? You get this assignment. What was it like? Well, I mean, I had been photographing the local bands for a number of years mm -hmm. before Nirvana, so they were the newcomers. You know, I just started going to their shows just like I started going to, you know, Soundgarden and yeah. and whatnot shows. So, so cool. Yeah. It's just all part of a family. Right. Yeah. So, I mean, can you, like, let's talk about the book because it's beautiful. It's a beautiful book. You can see it's, there were thousands of photos that you took, right? Mm -hmm. How do you decide what to pick? Well, you just start printing them out and you lay them out all over the floor. My family went out of town and I made rabbit trails of images and then you just kind of start shuffling together and come up with a, a concept and yeah. I kind of love, it's very analog the way oh, you do that. Oh it is, that. it has to be analog. You can't, if, once you start moving stuff around on a computer you get lost, but yeah. having that physical image in front of you to <laughs> boil it down to 90 of them. That's epic. It's very authentic. I like it. Yeah, thank you. Did it take you back when you were going through them? Um, yeah, certainly. And you know, my, my concept was to take a dozen shows, mm -hmm. live shows, because that's what I'm known for, was yeah. my, my live photography, and make one really awesome show out of it. Oh, that's great. There is a picture that you talk about at the end of the book. Um, it's a picture of Kurt. Uh, we're going to bring it up on the screen right now. Tell me about this picture. Yeah, so this was at the Reading Festival in the UK. Mm -hmm. uh, off to my left was uh, 45,000 people in the audience. Wow. And all of a sudden, mid between songs, Kurt just stops, and he looks over at me, and he's like, I couldn't, it was loud, so yeah. I couldn't hear, but he's like, are you okay? Is everything okay? And I was like, uh, yeah, and I was, we started waving at him, like, go play, go play. Oh my God. It was really sweet, yeah. He cared about he, you he in cared, that moment. Yeah, mm -hmm. He just wanted to make sure that his peeps on the side of the stage, that everything was all right. Wow. And what was he like? He was, a, he was a really, really nice, nice guy. Gentle soul? Gentle, yeah. Uh, kind of an introvert mm -hmm. until he would get, you know, on stage. And, uh, yeah, troubled as well, mm -hmm. of course. But uh, really, just talented, yeah. The whole band, I mean, so many greats oh, yeah. come from Nirvana. Can oh, you yeah, tell me sure. about anybody else? Well, there's Dave Grohl, of course, yeah. you know, who went on to do the Foo Fighters. I mean, that guy. Yeah, but I, I mean, Chris Novoselic, who wrote the introduction yeah. for the book and mm -hmm. still lives in southwest Washington. Right. He, uh, he was just had that really plodding bass that you could also, it was kind of funky and you could dance to as yeah. well. So, yeah. It's just amazing. I mean, there's such a, so much talent in, in with Dave, with everybody that you see there. It, it's, it's kind of a beautiful thing to see this, what you've created from the beginning. And you say that for you, there was a vacuum left by Kurt. Uh, did compiling this book help at all? Oh, uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, nothing, of course, will bring somebody back. Mm -hmm. But I think that what I really wanted to speak to was the music yeah. and not necessarily the dramas and the, you know, the yeah. backstories. Those have been done to death. So it's an immersive, intense experience. That's why I didn't ask many of those questions because well, I wanted you. to yeah. stay with the music and I want to know about this new exhibit called Dive With Me. Tell me about that. Yeah, so, so this is at Home Team Gallery, okay. a new gallery in Pioneer Square mm -hmm. on Occidental. And uh, first Thursday, Art Walk, uh, yeah. this, this week, we will uh, have prints that other local artists have painted and drawn over yeah. and maybe some, oh, done cool. some sculptural stuff. 
Oh yeah, it's a it's an amazing roster of of local artists, old and new. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so excited to see this, and I want everyone else to go check it out and really check out your book. What a beautiful thing! What a beautiful tribute to the band. Thank you for sharing that yeah, with us. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for all the work that you've done. And just like Charles said, Dive With Me at the Home Team Gallery in Pioneer Square launches on Thursday, March 7th, and runs through the month. Don't miss out. Charles will be there signing books this Thursday for the Pioneer Square Art Walk. So what a great opportunity.